Hello, Tucker Christian Church. I'm so sorry I can't be with you in person. I so enjoy the times that I get to come and be with you, but I hope that this little video update will bring you up to speed on how things are going with SOAR. First, I just want to thank you for your participation in Angel Bags. We had a wonderful Angel Bags project this year. We had over 2,900 bags delivered to Mexico. We've got to give out many of those bags personally. We worked with the Villa Gonzalez Church and their teens to go from many villages to pass those out and then we left some for them to pass out after we left. But it was a great experience with them really taking a lead this year and us just supporting them. So thank you so much for participating and for allowing us to be able to share God's love and God's Word with so many of those children and their families. Of course, with these unprecedented times, COVID has really kind of impacted our summer. We were supposed to have five different trips this summer, India, New York, two to Mexico, and one to Brazil. Unfortunately, our summer is not going to look like that at all. India has been canceled, Brazil has been canceled, one of the Mexico trips is definitely canceled. The second trip, which is the very end of July, Rankin Christian Church is really hoping that things might loosen up some and that they may be able to go back and conduct the teen camp with them, so they're hoping for that. And then our New York trip is supposed to be the end of June, beginning of July, and for Vacation Bible School that we do every year. And even though we're not going to be able to go, they have asked if we could help them with doing an online Vacation Bible School. So that's kind of exciting, but it's kind of terrifying all at the same time. So we are proceeding with that. We've been meeting with them every week via Zoom to make all these plans and arrangements. So I just pray that you will pray with us that God would show up in a mighty way. We would be able to share God's love with them. We'd be able to teach those boys and girls the great message that Jesus Christ wants to be their Savior and He is the one and only way to heaven. A few weeks ago, we actually received word that one of the students that had attended our Vacation Bible School, Adwith, um, he succumbed to COVID-19 and, um, and he died, unfortunately. But we have the comfort to know that during Vacation Bible School, he accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Um, he comes from a Hindu background family, and so we pray that you would pray for that family and that they would seek Jesus. and. Um, but we are comforted to know that he had made that personal decision and that we will get to see him again someday. And that is the importance of Vacation Bible School. And we really, really hope that we will be able to convey that to all of the boys and girls that tune in with us each night from 6 to 8. Um, on a little bit of more of a downer, unfortunately, I wanted to just bring you up to speed. Um, many of you prayed for the Lutz family. Jennifer Lutz was diagnosed with brain cancer the very end of March, on March 22nd, and on May the 6th, she went home to be with the Lord. Um, I ask that you pray for Eric and for the seven children, for Krista and Hannah and Wilson and Jet and Callie and Amy and Daphne. Pray for each of them as they figure out what they're doing. They were still in the process of transitioning from life in Haiti back to here in the U.S. So pray for direction for them and for Eric as he leads his family. Also, I ask that you pray for my roommate and right-hand person in SOAR, Melinda Wilson, as she was just diagnosed with breast cancer. And so she's going to be having an upcoming surgery um, and treatments to follow. So I ask that you keep her in your prayers as well. Through everything, we just want to make Jesus known, and in these times, now more than ever, that's what we need to do. So please continue to keep missions at the forefront of everything that you do, and thank you so much for all of your support for SOAR. In Jesus' name, thank you.